Happy Bears Monday. Uh, <laughs> hey, shout outs to Caleb Williams and DJ Moore. They won me a thousand dollars on FanDuel, so uh, can't go wrong with that. But um, you know, uh, very big win for the Bears. I get it. It was the Panthers. Um, but you know, like I said, you gotta have that schedule. Uh, you gotta have that schedule for these games to get ready for, you know, the big games. It's, uh, week 11 is when we finally play a divisional game. Uh, no team in the division look all that great besides the Vikings, and they they even look beatable. You know, the Lions. Well, I mean, I gonna say they look great because the Lions look pretty good. The Divi division. I mean, none of them look like games that the Bears can't win. Should I say the Packers? Uh, we know they have our number, but they're still trying to find our groove. But we are 0-0 with Caleb Williams at quarterback. So we're going to see how that goes. We got till week 11, and that's going to be at home. The Bears haven't lost a home game in eight straight, the best record in the NFL. Um, but it's just crazy, bro. All that stuff that was said after the Colts game. Oh, Justin Fields is 3-0. and Caleb is 1-2. and I told y'all, it's a 17-game season. Not a three, not a four. Caleb Williams has gotten better each week. Each week he's gotten better. Second 300-yard passing game already. And we got the same record as the Steelers. Not to compare. They're theirs. Let them do their thing over there. That's the whole main point. It's just funny how quiet them talks have gotten. But everybody has so much to say about this, this, and that. I hope all you guys are... Waving your terrible towel over there because we don't want you here. I've been said it. Get on from this fan base. I've been telling y'all that. So hopefully y'all took my advice and y'all stayed over there. And I wish y'all the best over there at Pittsburgh. Um, but a lot of people's looking stupid with their posts, I see. But yeah, very big win. Caleb Williams, 304 passing yards, 29, uh, 20 of 29 passing. First drive didn't look good at all. Um, and then they marched right down and scored, which I took Chubba for in, in my parlay for. The rushing yards. I knew he was going to get his rushing. Like the Bears' run defense has not. Now they they buckled down and got down. They buckled down, but our run defense has been very shaky all year. It's been very shaky all year so far. They haven't got it going there. Um, the rest of it is very elite. Secondary. Don't even get me started on them. Um, and in the pass rush, uh, Dexter Senior is just a monster out there. I love it. Uh, that the Bears should have taken um, Jalen Carter. That noise is looking very, very, that's another one that's looking, uh, that narrative is not looking so good because Dexter is balling. Dexter is balling. I mean, balling. And then we have Darnell Wright, who looks like he'll be a Pro Bowl uh, O-lineman. So I think it's pretty good. And, of course, we got him from the Carolina Panthers through that deal, through that trade. So I'm always going to have love for the Carolina Panthers. Um uh, I think every single one, every single Bears fan I know, we should get them a Christmas gift because they looked out for us. Through that haul, check it out. We got DJ Moore, who had a monster game, two touchdowns. Uh, I'm going to speak more on DJ Moore, too. Two touchdowns, uh, over 100 yards, 109 yards, so much for Caleb, not having Caleb, him not liking Caleb. Uh, like I said, Caleb, 300 yards, no interceptions, two touchdowns, both to DJ Moore. Uh, Keenan Allen didn't really get going. Roma Dunze had a few catches, um, but nothing too major. Uh, who else? Um, Cole Komet had a pretty pretty solid, pretty good game. Had a nice catch, nice big catch. Uh, Swift, oh, DeAndre Swift, don't get me wrong. Uh, he had a really good game, a uh, really good game. I think over a buck 50 total yards, all purpose. Um, and then uh, who else you got? You got... Um, Shane Waldron, got to give him credit. People wanted his head early on. They got to realize it's a long season. Uh, he took accountability after the Colts game. Some, a lot of you women, some of you men don't even take. But uh, he took accountability after the Colts game and said, I have to be better. It's my fault. He wrote everything down the drawing board. In the past two games, he has been better. Give Shane Waldron his credit. If you're going to criticize him, please give credit as well. So... All in all, just a very good win. Uh, Brisker is just a monster. Jaquan Brisker is just a flat-out monster. I don't know what else to say about that dude, but he, that dude, man, he loves to play football, you can tell. Hard nose, he's going to hit you. Uh, 
he has a lot of uh i want to say cam chancellor yeah you know if we're going to compare them to the legion of boom he had to play uh the cam chancellor role but a uh, very good win kyler gordon everybody out there played played their part everybody did well um it's enough praise to go around but very good all-around win uh, we got the Jags up next in London, basically a home game for the Jaguars. Uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a pretty tough one. We're gonna see how that goes. The Jags just got a win over the Colts. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let me know what y'all think in the comments. We out.